They can do it. I'm pretty sure Ocelot can do... I thought Ocelot could do some building. Dodsworth can. Pretty sure. He can do a bit of building. If I could get these guys in here, getting these doors. The problem I've got is my people are constantly walking through it. Or Costa's working on that one. Oh man. Alright, what else? Um, I should get my parents to get that for my birthday. And ask me to tell them something to get. What the name and game DLC. I don't know, I think it'd be pretty cool. Because like, I... Like, I can't, um, I can't kind of wait until, like, I hopefully see myself walk into my own colony, because that would be horrific. Like, I have to then keep her alive. Like, she'd become, like, the new next, like, not the legacy character specifically, but she'd be, like, the one of the few people in this group that I really want to keep alive to the end. So, yeah, that would get really complicated for myself. Plus, she'll walk into other people's colonies all around the world, so that'd be pretty cool. That'd be a thing. Techmate, can you work on the wall? And Grasshopper, I know that you're a cook. But if I can get a few people to work on, like, the inside and the outside of these walls. Actually, you were gathering supplies. Um, no, white, white maybe is getting it? We'll see. Hopefully that goes into a caravan. I'm going to have to grab, like, augury or somebody gathering supplies. Can you... Uh, can... I don't want you to haul it, but sure it afterwards we'll see where that goes we'll find out i'm gonna relax my excitement well you'd be right nothing too exciting has been happening around here with rimworld for like the last fortnight like even when we've had attacks they've been pretty tame so i haven't had to worry too much also i should quickly just ch check on my chickens uh where are you guys you're down here somewhere i'm trying to breed my chickens and ducks and stuff at the moment i've got eight fertile chicken eggs and I've got four fertile duck eggs. So this is good. I'm trying to get like, I think it's about 15 or 20 female of each. 20, yeah. Once we've got up to 20, I can release them into the rest of the colony. Because at the moment, <laughs> at the moment they've, um, they keep getting their eggs eaten by like the cats and the panthers and shit. Because I don't have meat production. I need them to reach a certain number so that when their chicks and shit reach adulthood, they automatically become food. So, yeah, that is a little bit of an issue. Um, let's say about how the kids' gameplay is much improved. Uh, several of the expansions, but EA charges an arm and a leg for every piece of DLC. Yeah, I can't stand the DLC, like, the fucking... the rate of charging for expansions on fucking Sims. So... That is, as far as I'm concerned, that's more of a fucking crime to me than anything, is like the amount that they cost for each one. And the worst thing is I feel like Sims 4 had shit taken away from Sims 3. Like they upgraded the graphics, but then they took away functionality and it was like, why? Is shit was working, shit did stuff, and now, now we can't do stuff? Like it kind of sucks, you know? I also want to take my power out through here if I can. I want to take it up through like the inner wall a bit. What the hell is that, Phoenix? Oh, apparently. <laughs> apparently the power cable touched his body. <laughs> Phoenix was laying there and there's a power cable that's going from the, um, the uh, wall socket thing to the heater and it's at like the... <laughs> The power board's like raised up in the air, right? So obviously the cable is hanging from the air and stuff. And he must have just moved into a position where it was touching his butt and he kind of freaked out about it. And he's, he's moved. He's he's left the room, but still. I heard him. I'm like, I couldn't tell if that was like an animal in my game or if it was Phoenix. Because it's the same kind of like moo murmur kind of noise. And I'm like, the fuck was that? I also want to take this actually up through here. So I know it's going to use just a tiny bit less uh, steel once I've moved it. So, yeah, that's going to take me a bit to get these deconstructed. What else did I miss? I think it's Wolf again. Giving people uranium rock skin. Uh, did Viking give some... Oh, yeah, he gave glowing rocks to Beza. Nice. Yeah, no, they're um they're pretty cool. I, I don't know quite yet what they do, but... Um, 
yeah, I reckon Grimm's on the money with that. I'm sure they're like with RimWorld where it's not actually radioactive, but it glows like and is probably uranium or something like that. I don't know. Um, checks it left, right, wagon tablet. Yeah, it's a right Viking. We know it's not radioactive. Viking's got like some kind of power in him, I think. He keeps finding, um, he's finding cool glowing shit. Instead of getting the name in game, you'll see so many times that never pull the trigger. So I didn't know it was a thing until really recently, until um, Eternal Dipsy let me know, because they added Bombay to the game. And I had Bombay walk into my game and I stole him. So that was pretty epic. But um, I know that he did it like right before the most recent DLC. And apparently they do take a bit to like accept and stuff like I didn't get an email for it I had to go through like the Steam workshop or Steam support or whatever go to RimWorld's like website and stuff to actually apply for the creator program um, email request and then do it which you know was a little bit of a shit kind of like fuck around because like if you're not particularly like tech savvy or if you were just just thought you'd get an email or something like that like a lot of people would get somewhat ripped off and not really know that they've got to follow that to get their name in the game kind of thing which sort of sucks because like I didn't know either I just thought you got an email so I, I waited like a week or two and I got no emails so I started I started googling like when do you get the email um like how do you apply stuff like that and yeah, that's how I kind of came across the information was that some people were like, I didn't get it, so therefore you have to apply for it, kind of thing. So, yeah. Uh, set a social fight. That's fine. I have a bit of hay grass. I don't know where the fuck it keeps coming from. <laughs> like, it's here somewhere. Yeah, I wanted to make these a little bit more out shaped, like more kind of orby, sort of shapey, sort of stuff. Go night night. No worries, Grim. Stop looking at my horse, though. Stop it. But yeah, I'll catch around, Grim. Um, does that miss that one? Thank you for radiation sickness. <laughs> oh, it's not radiation sickness. Oh, looking at the glowing rock, tilts head. Poor Viking. Viking's just trying to give gifts, and everybody's like freaking out. I might move these doors over one more, so then it's like a mirrored shape. I think this rim looks kind of cool, honestly. Um. Take it two over, one in the center. Yep, that'd be about equal. The only problem with this is that I'm not going to have. So is that sandstone? Sandstone. The only problem with this is this room isn't going to be air conditioned, but it should be. I could vent it. So that is a thing that I can do at some point. I just don't want to crack open another bit just yet. Like they can currently get in and out other doors. Let's get rid of these because these are all sandstone moment they can still get in and out for a moment see how it goes um this is the one game i've essentially refused to purchase any mtx for so far it's the most recent expansions are actually decent enough that have also wavered but in general i'm strong i'm strongly against giving them money yeah look sims is like one of those games where i like the concept of some of the stuff they've got in it but I don't want to have to pay for a whole new fucking game cost per like little addition to the game I think that that's a bit of a rip you know um I really do think that when you purchase the game like, it should just be like all this collective material because like a lot of it was in sims 3 and yeah, some of it was packs and shit, but like, when they separated it, yes, I guess the idea is that you're supposed to be like, oh, I only like this, so I'll only add that to my game, kind of thing. But like, I hate the concept of having to go and find which pack has what and then add it. Because like, I liked the, um, I used to like the animal pack, and I used to get the, I think it was the Generations pack, I think. Because um, they had they had the ability to send like 
uh, keep track of like descendants and shit, which was kind of useful. I did one playthrough on Sims where it was completely fucked up. So I had like, I started with, I think, two or three women, right? Uh, little variations of like each other, essentially. They were sisters. And each one of them eventually, like they had max skills and stuff like that. And I got them to have like partners and stuff. And then I ended up making this like a horrible encampment sort of thing where people came in and I wanted to test out the genetics thing, like how far down does it show? And apparently, like, if your character's still alive because they're immortal, like, it just keeps showing it. Like, obviously it's supposed to be dead, and you're supposed to only have so many genetic pools and stuff like that with your people. And I ended up, like, eight down in the list, where they all had, like, they'd been alive for fucking ever. They were now, like, having children with the descendants of their grandchildren, or, like, the grandchildren of the grandchildren and stuff like that because the genetics no longer recognize them as relations genetically and it was so fucking messed up and i'm like i think my people have reproduced with the entire town at this point over the lifetime of every single person in the sims game and like it was basically like i'd keep like i'd make each one like have kids or whatever or impregnate somebody else and I'd keep the best kind of genetic close visual copy of my girls in The Descendant. So if it was a boy or a girl but it looked a lot like them, I kept them because it had a strong resemblance. And then once once I had like this like list of like really strong resemblance, like I could see them walking around the town. I'm like, because I think I had like a redhead, a ginger and... I don't know what else the third one was, but the, the red and the ginger kept obviously like breeding reds and gingers around the, the, the town and they were like the only ones that were doing it. So it was really obvious when like a redhead or something came knocking on my house in like Sims 3 and I'm like, yeah, you're somebody's descendant, aren't you? Because it's like obviously, but yeah, I don't, I don't Sims well. I don't, I don't go into deep like logical stories of kindness or rags to riches or none of that shit. I'm just like <laughs> horrible like overlord that kind of like contains people to like a bat cave kind of thing and forces like various reproduction to test genetics and or like turns into ch like some kind of child slave labor type thing. So yeah. I I questioned whether or not I could ever play Sims on stream because I'm like I'd be so psychotic the whole time it's like it's literally like doom but in sims where I'm like murder and psychoness type stuff or whatever but like it's not the right game for that context you know I don't know I don't think Viking wants to play fetch with glow rock <laughs> oh my god don't throw his rock oh my god no when Viking pokes somebody with their tail they want to be tickled that's all that is um I'm pretty sure a few people with the what's that few people put the dig name in ready Beza, so I'm sure what to go with. Well, the game recommends like go with like your actual name and stuff like that, or go with like a name that you can create. But it has to apparently fit into like the space western that apparently Rimworld is. So like most of these people, like will have kind of pretty innocuous kind of names nothing that really stands out so the thing like grasshopper what is your name you're grasshopper tender okay but he's uh like real lego grasshopper fucking can't say that bus bus coolio let's go with that <laughs> that's close enough but like yeah apparently stuff like that sometimes there's examples where like there's a character and it's first name and it's last name and stuff like that and it's nickname it's nicknames basically like one of its names or part of one of its names or something like that so like i always intended to have like my avatar's name kelly venus because i think that would be pretty awesome um and i think it's a plain enough name except venus they might have a problem with just because I don't know, maybe it's too spacey. Um, but that's going to be entirely up to them. But um, like if they don't accept that, I don't know what else to use. Because like I don't really have any other laundry lists of like names that would be 
not kind of fantastical or uh, like, I don't know, mystic to mystical kind of stuff. Names, I don't think. I'm sure as fuck not using my actual like full name or anything like that because that would be stupid. But um, yeah, I don't know, this would be fine. I think Viking wants to play fetch. Thanks but not going after rock wags so happily, nor Viken. Viken's being like, puts his foot down, doesn't want to. I gotta keep an eye on this, uh, where are they? You lot, just making sure you guys are actually packing food. They have got food on them, so that's good. This group's nearly done. Where is the other caravan? Because it... Um... Where did you guys pack up a second caravan? I'm guessing it's on the same spot. Yeah, you guys have packed two caravans here. The, the other caravan's loaded, but one person's mentally broken. They might leave at the same time. That would be really great if they do. Because I have, like, so much clothes on this. Um, if I could just get steel. Steel is the only thing right now that is actually holding me back from progressing in the game. I can't build lighting. I can't do, like, a whole bunch of, like, electronics. I could build another scanner. But I don't have the steel for it. I'm trying to like move this particular row of electronics because once it moves over this little area will require like a little bit less. So I'm hoping that that's what they'll do but I'm guessing they're going to repair things first which is still okay. I also got my first like haul of Devil Strand which I'm not selling this first one. I do want them to make some clothes. Another thing too is I wanted to have a look at my clothing policies to see, but nothing tattered. They are allowed to wear anything, any hit points. I thought about changing it, they can only have it where they don't wear like shit clothes, but I still need them to not be naked. So shit clothes versus nudity, still slightly better. Um, so what I'm hearing is your room while crimes are letting colonists eat without a table and Sims crimes are uh, Genix. Uh, somehow not the other way around yeah no my rimworld crimes are far far less than my sims crimes realistically <laughs> i don't know i think like i think almost everybody that's played sims has at least like drowned one of their people over like something petty or something like that at least once but like i don't know i um it's not so much like a matter of like torturing them it's just like you know some days they just like piss you off <laughs> and you're like yeah no you're not getting a nice meal today or you're gonna go for a 10k run today just because like stuff like that it's more like that whereas RimWorld I'm like oh you nice little creatures let me get you a statue let me get you a pretty room like let's make sure you have lighting and a clean table to eat you know you left your plate on the counter for the last day. <laughs> it's like that. It's not the counter though. It's always the fucking floor. And it's always like the floor that stops them from getting to the fucking toilet. Like, I'm not joking. Like, I have to make like extra big bathrooms for my Sims because they're stupid. And what they will do is they will just put a fucking plate down in the passageway to the toilet. Then use the toilet and then they can't leave or they can't like get to the toilet and they need it. And I'm just like sitting there like there, there's literally a meme out there that just has like the full face expression of like are you fucking for real sort of thing. Like I don't know. Uh, other times other times they try to like resist doing tasks and work and stuff like that and I'm like no, I need you to do this so we have like preparations for next day so then you can go to bed. I'm like they don't want to work as hard as I sometimes do so you know, uh, oh my caravan, deep drill, deep drills exhausted resources, nice. Okay, well, I turned all these off the other day. So, like, for instance, like, I'm the kind of person that, like, I will stay up until, like, 2 or 4 a.m. or something like that, like, cleaning a place or, like, prepping stuff or whatever so that I can, I can make sure that I have, like, almost next to nothing to do in the next day um, if, like, there's something going on, right? Whereas um, my Sims people sure as fuck do not want that lifestyle. And like, they're like, oh, what was me? It's it's 11 p.m. I must sleep. 
I'm asleep wherever I am sitting, regardless. And I'm like, <laughs> wake the fuck back up and finish what you're doing before you even think about going to bed. I like that this is all like meshed in now. It's terrible. It's awful. All right, I've still got a couple here. What I might do? So I'll have those three move up, and just for now, I'll just pop these down out here. And it's not a bad spot. If I was to have a um, infestation pop through here, this would not be the worst thing to happen down this corner. That's fine. All right, what else? Um, this is not even that common of a name. That would reject it. I'm sure like Kelly Venus shouldn't get rejected. That should be fine because like there's even like is it Serena Williams and there's her sister Venus Williams and stuff like that. So Venus can even be like a first real world name, right? So um, like it should be okay. It's the acrylic part that I'm more concerned about because I'm like it does probably seem more like a handle than it does a name, but it is also a name that I go by. So like I feel like more people probably know me by acrylic than anything else. So like it it would make sense to call her that. And the Kelly Venus on either side for me makes it more me realistically because like I super super relate to my avatar because she is me. She's she's modeled off me. She's like she's been me in like character form for like I don't know, probably 20 years, give or take. So I'm really super connected to Kelly Venus, but the acrylic side of it, I also have used that for quite a while. Um, and like that would be a fair nickname to have on Kelly Venus because, you know, at least from like a streaming perspective, my avatar is Kelly Venus, but my channel is acrylic. So most people know me and my avatar's face is acrylic. So like, yeah. But then also try not to be too internet handily for fucking RimWorld, you know? So they're okay with it. I might be able to fit another table in here if I make it like this. It's gonna be a bit squished. But it'd be fine. We'll see how it goes. Um, so it continues rolling around, I can tell. Happily. No, if I can. Of course, Sims happily encourages it. Well, you have to play it on the counter. Yeah. Basically. Um... I mean, it's always the half wall dividers that I put between living spaces and kitchen, but that sounds like something that a dumb sim would do. But the the half wall dividers and stuff, what do they do? Like get your person stuck somewhere. I like using half wall dividers. I actually, so I've gone through like a weird stage with Sims in particular. I've gone with, um, I used to do a lot of character creation. So I used to spend a fuck ton of hours in character creation, making sure that my character was exactly how I wanted it to look and had all the clothes on all the different variations, multiple variations, so she could like alternate between outfits and then like, you know, getting her in and, and spend a long time like playing that character and stuff like that, right? But then I kind of went through, like, I don't want to add much to their look. Like I have kind of like a pretty easy to get their look to where I want probably because I'm really familiar with the settings and shit right and so like when it comes down to actually playing the game I've gone into more of a I kind of want to build now kind of thing and it's not because I want to build stuff I actually like designing houses in sims like real world houses that I could potentially live in myself because I'm like could you imagine how cool it would be? Obviously, probably not super realistic, but how cool would it be to go to a builder and be like, I want to build this and have them like draw up the plans, the blueprints and stuff like that and actually make it livable? Because that would be cool. Because like previously, as far as blueprint, blueprint drawing goes, I hate blueprint drawing. I fucking suck at it. It takes me so much work to do the same kind of level of a drawing as like like it's technical drawing let me clarify that i can do artistic drawing my avatar specifically is an example of that i drew her with a mouse right i can do that shit but when i have to do technical drawing which includes like making sure that like a space is like down to specific measurements and shit like that it's really hard um i used to fail at that at school as well that was something i was not good at um, 
in uh, graphics. It was there was a section in like graphics classes. Like I was a A student in graphics, except I was an A minus for fucking technical drawings. So I was like a C average everywhere else. <laughs> so I know where I know what I was good at. Um, and um, yeah, unfortunately, they're like such a, a limited skill that I don't need on the average week, you know. I do need to put some of these around the place. I'm trying to get, oops, I'm trying to get their, uh, their chest area kind of like loaded up so that I can mirror this. Because now that I've got the dining tables and stuff out of here, I can actually put all the extra rooms and shit. I think this is in line with that. I could move it over just a little bit more, but I think this is this is about what I had. I'm going to go with more jade tables. They're going to have silver poker tables, I think silver pool tables? Hold on. Yeah, silver billiards tables, silver poker tables. Eventually these will go gold. Eventually I'll make them gold once I've got good shit. And then they'll walk in here and they'll be like, oh my god, it's so impressive. It's so great. Um, I also found I had extra TVs and I was wondering where the fuck I stored those because I know I've got one up in the hospital, but if I have one extra, I thought about, I don't know if putting it in with like the dining room would make them happy. Like it might, cause that's usually why I have like the, um, TVs and shit nearby. I don't want the dining room to be considered a rec room, but it wouldn't hurt if they're getting some recreational while they're eating dinner. I don't see the TV in here. So, oh, hello. Chalky's for me a caravan. Um, I don't see my spare TV. I'm guessing that they're all put up around the place. But, you guys, he must be the first one to come down here. What are you carrying? Oh, you're carrying the thing, the drill. That's fine. Um, okay, Wolverine is going, going out too. You're the group of all the gear. What's the other group doing? It looks like both groups are going out at the same time. Oh god, this is great. This is like unheard of. Absolute, like, ludicrous shit. Oh man. I'm gonna try to sneak away where I can tell happily. No, if I can. Was somebody tickling you? You can only get away if they don't notice you. So, eventually once I get steel 2, I can finally do my floors and then we can see our hospital as well. That would be nice. Um, I've got plastic steel chairs for this. Eventually I will replace these stools, which reminds me, you guys out here that are doing the drilling, I bet you guys would maybe like a stool? I don't know if they want one, but I'm going to give them some stools because... It might improve their speed or their work or happiness or fuck knows, but we're gonna find out. Hey Jay, welcome back. What are you up to? Is that plus comfort? Yeah, I kind of figured it would be plus comfort, but I also do tend to find like when I sometimes click on my people, they're not like actively using the fucking seats and shit. Like sometimes they're just standing there like power carving through the fucking day, you know? And I'm like, what was the point of me giving you a chair? Like, really? Delicious is on his way out, too. Not sad way, Tarbly. No. Yeah, what are you up to today, Jay? Yeah, have some of my coke. My uh, caravans are working their way out. They don't skip leg. My people don't skip leg day. My people are, like, incessantly, like, I need to stand up. I have a chair on offer. It makes the room so pretty. But uh, I'm going to stand here. I'm gonna have like, you know those like biker calves, you know those maximum fucking capacity calf muscles? That's what I imagine my, my people have. Plus they're gonna run all the way over like my huge ass colony, right? So they're getting, they're getting the leg day in every day. Like they wake up, they want breakfast and they sleep down here. Like their bed is like way down in this bottom corner, right? They've got to like go all the way up here to get some breakfast. And same with like the bus is up here, like Crucia. Experimento or whatever. They've got all kinds of issues. But yeah, I'm liking how this is looking. I don't know about making a third one. I think two dining halls are fine. And this extra area, I don't know what to do with it yet. I may end up getting rid of this little room. I'm not sure. We'll see. You know. It's better to joke master. Working terribly. No. no. I'm up for work early. Trying to get stuff done. I don't finish before yesterday ended. Oh yeah. 
Oh, at least you're up early and you've got a bit of time to work on it. It's always good. I ended up having like overflow of work all last week with just like, um, like I ended up doing my Friday stream editing on I think Sunday. I can't even remember what the fuck I was doing on Saturday. But I've been doing like massive fucking hours in the last like week or two. I think it's been like on average 10 hour days. There's a couple in there that was 24, 25 hour. Technically, I say 24, 25 hour day and I know that's technically in two days, but still, shit applies. Where I'm just like, I don't know. I'm working on stuff. It's all like, I don't know, it's all stream related. It's all stream improvement shit. They'll eventually show up. I'll see it eventually. You go ask some of my bosses are in India sometimes to forget the time zone differences. They assign things to us when it's 6 p.m. our time. Oh my god. That is difficult when they forget the time differences though. Because like, the as like somebody living in America, there's nothing you can fucking do but to get up and kind of go do the task and shit. But it's not a, it's not like your regular hours and a convenient time for like when you're doing stuff, you know. But I get it, like everybody shit slips in your mind occasionally. It happens. I'm gonna put another one of these down here somewhere. I'm gonna put it here. I know it's a bit far away from the food, but it also shouldn't be on top of where like the uh, will be a little bit. Let's see if I can move that. I want to build a copy of it, but I also want to get rid of it. Maybe just here would be a good spot. Kinda. I want them to be able to access the food for packing. I don't want it to be quite tied to the edge there. Maybe here will do. All right, this one can go, and the other one can go. We'll get rid of these two. I just want spots where they can get animals hitched up because they put two on one and I'd like to be able to see them a little bit easier than that. Also, how is that caravan going? Are they both going out the same edge? They're all going out the same way. <laughs> Who are you? Well, there goes one. Hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. Rest. All right, cool. 